Are you hearing the rumors about the Great Reset by the World Economy Forum? It's a concept that got a lot of people talking and worrying. Imagine a world where you own nothing, where everything is rented and where your life is tightly controlled by the government. If that doesn't sound like your idea of a good time, stick around. Today we are talking about countries that are taking a different path. Places where you can protect your freedom, wealth and way of life. Before we begin, let me introduce you to Flex Tragedies, our mission. To help you optimize your business, minimize your tax liabilities and safeguard your assets by leveraging the best opportunities the world has to offer. In today's globalized world, you need more than just one plan. You need a strategy that diversifies across multiple countries. Visit our website flexstrategies.com, the link is in the description and discover how we can help you build and protect your wealth. So let's talk about the Great Reset, an initiative proposed by the World Economy Forum in response to COVID-19, the famous pandemic. It aims to address global challenges like economic inequality, climate change and social issues by restructuring the global economy and society. And as crazy as it may sound, it began to gain traction. Basically, the proposal suggests reforms in capitalism, promoting sustainability, digitization and stakeholder capitalism, where companies focus on the interest of all stakeholders rather than just shareholders. Critics argue that it could lead to excessive government control and a loss of personal freedoms since it is all about building a world where private property is minimized, people live in tightly controlled urban environments and mobility is restricted. For many, this sounds like a dystopian nightmare. For me as well, actually. But what if I told you there are countries out there that are hopping into this trend? Crazy, right? Let's check places where you can still own property, enjoy personal freedoms and live life on your own terms. First, let's look at Africa. Africa might not be the first place that comes in mind when you think of wealth protection, but it's a gem in many ways. Countries like Rwanda, Namibia or Mauritius are leading the resistance. Rwanda often hailed as one of the cleanest and most organized countries in Africa, offers a stable environment with a government that is keen on promoting businesses. Namibia, on the other hand, has a residency program that allows you to gain a place in a country that's rich in natural beauty and resources. Then there's Mauritius. Maybe you've been there already for a holiday, a small island and very big opportunities. Mauritius is known for a favorable tax regime, making it a popular destination for those looking to optimize their tax strategy. More on flexstrategies.com, just apply for a personal meeting with us and I will tell you everything about it. The country offers a residence by investment program that's relatively straightforward, allowing you to invest in real estate and gain residency. Plus, it's a beautiful place to live in. Next, let's shift our focus to Eastern Europe. This region is often overlooked, but it's becoming increasingly attractive for those who value freedom and independence. Countries like Serbia, Montenegro, I go to have a holiday next week, and Albania are carving out a niche for themselves as places where you can enjoy a lower cost of living, fewer regulations and more personal freedom. Serbia, for instance, has a culture of independence where the government takes a more hands-off approach. This is a place where you can set up a business, buy property and live without the constant oversight that you might find in Western European countries. Montenegro, for example, offers a citizenship by investment program that's gaining popularity. For a relatively low investment, you can secure citizenship, which gives you access to visa-free travel across all of Europe. Albania is another country that's starting to open up with a growing economy and government that's keen on attracting foreign investments. But we are not stopping there. The South Pacific also offers some interesting options. Take Vanuatu, for example. 
this island nation offers a citizenship by investment program that's one of the fastest and most affordable in the world. You literally get a passport in a few weeks. While the passport might not give you access to the European Union, I mean not direct entry, or the UK, it does offer visa-free travel to many countries and more importantly, it's a tax haven. Vanuatu has no income tax, no capital gain tax and no inheritance tax, making it an attractive option for those looking to protect their wealth. Of course, it's not just about the financial benefits. Vanuatu offers a quite nice lifestyle in a tropical paradise far from the pressures and restrictions of more developed countries. If you are looking for a place to escape the big reset, this could be your ideal destination. Now, let's talk about China or China's influence. Whether you like it or not, China is becoming a major player on the global stage and many countries are aligning themselves with Beijing. Countries in Africa, Eastern Europe and the South Pacific are increasingly looking to China for investment and infrastructure developments. This alignment often comes with a rejection of Western ideas or Western ideals and influence, creating an environment that's more independent and less subject to the West. By planting your flag in one of those countries, you're not just gaining a second residence or citizenship, you are buying into a different way of life. A life where you're not subject to the same level of control and oversight that's becoming all too common in the West. At the end of the day, it's all about diversification. By exploring these less conventional options, you're not just hedging against risk, you are setting yourself up for success in an increasingly uncertain world. In my personal experience, those who are proactive in securing their freedom and wealth are the ones who thrive no matter what the future holds. That's my experience in the last 15 years with all our clients. So what do you think? Are you concerned about the great reset? Or do you think it's just a lot of hype and blah blah? More importantly, would you consider moving to one of those countries to protect your freedom and wealth? Let's discuss it in the comments below. I'm very, very interested what you think about these countries. If you found this video insightful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content on protecting your wealth and securing your future. Please don't forget to like the video and leave a comment with your thoughts. I'm super interested in that and we will answer all your comments. And if you're serious about taking action, visit flexstrategies.com through the link in the description. We are very happy here to help you navigating global finances and create a strategy that works for you.